I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You got to move. You got to make the city move. Hey, whoa. I make the city move. I got the move. The MVP is the most prestigious award handed out to a single player in an NBA season. It shows how great of a year they had and the major positive impact they had with their team. In every season, there are always favorites. Plays like LeBron, Giannis, Durant, they were always up there in the debate for the MVP. But also in each season, there are some players who go under the radar for MVP, even though they are having magnificent seasons themselves. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at five players who could win the MVP next season, but aren't talked about nearly enough. And today, it won't actually be just me talking about this subject. Today's video is featuring Reliable Rants. He is a young NBA YouTuber like me who makes great basketball content. Basically, if you like what you see here, you'll enjoy what he has going on over there. We also made a video on his channel talking about 5 Dark Horse Rookie of the Year candidates. Links to his channel and video will be in the description below and on the pinned comment. This video is in no particular order. Anyway, with that all being said, let's get right into this top 5. Number 1. Damian Lillard Damian Lillard has been underrated his entire life. From high school to college and in the NBA, Lillard has had to continuously deal with lots of doubts. But these doubts are starting to fade away as of recent, as ever since Lillard hit a buzzer beater on OKC and took Portland to a Western Conference Finals, the praise has started to outweigh the hate. Lillard has proved to be one of the most cold-blooded players in the league, and also one of the best guards. In fact, I've seen a lot of people ranking Lillard almost in the top 10 players in the NBA currently, which at this point last year was unthinkable. After his recent playoff performances and his fantastic season on the Blazers, I truly believe that Lillard could win MVP next season, or at the very least, be a top 3 candidate for it. I expect him to continue to average over 25 points per game, at the very least 24 a game, and with the Blazers' recent addition of Hassan Whiteside, I think the Blazers could make a push for a top 3 seed in the West again. They have a very similar core, and though there's a chance they struggle to begin the season, once Nurkic is healthy, I think they can become a serious threat to top NBA teams. And the guy leading them will be Damian Lillard. Call me crazy, but I think now that the 76ers have an established roster, like at the trade deadline, you acquired Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris. That can take a toll on a lot of players if you acquire two stars. Acquiring them at the trade deadline, that could throw the main superstar on your team off, and you need to adjust to the chemistry. But now that this team is fully established, I think that Joel Embiid can come into his own and be in the conversation for MVP and maybe win MVP. I mean, damn, he put up 28 points and 13 rebounds last year. The dude is only 25 years old, and if he's doing this at 25, he's only gonna get better and better and better. So I think next year, everybody's talking about Kawhi AD, you know, LeBron to win MVP. I think Joel Embiid can really come into his own. Like, I mean, obviously he has come into his own, but he can really, really do some damage to the league next year and I wouldn't be surprised if he put up numbers like 31 and like 15 or something like that. He's the best center in that NBA and everybody knows that and I think he's definitely a dark horse to win MVP. I haven't heard anybody talk about him winning this award yet. Number three, Anthony Davis. I know Anthony Davis isn't exactly the darkest horse on this list, he's arguably a top five player in the league, but he's definitely not the first guy you'd think of when talking MVP. Maybe when he was the sole star on New Orleans, he would be a favorite, but alongside LeBron, I just can't see him being a top candidate to begin the season. This doesn't mean he isn't one though. Him and LeBron are guaranteed to have a big winning season, and Davis will play a major role in that. LeBron will probably get a lot more of the credit, but don't count out Anthony Davis. Seeing as LeBron will most likely run point guard, this will give Davis a lot of good off-ball opportunities to score the ball. LeBron is known as a scorer to many, but he's actually a fantastic passer. With LeBron running point, I'm expecting Davis's points per game to stay close to what it has been the last few seasons. Obviously, he could drop off a little bit because he's playing alongside LeBron, but at the very least, his efficiency will go up a ton. 
on a winning team with potential to average 25 and 10 on efficient shooting, there is no reason why Davis should be excluded for 2020 MVP candidate talks. Now the next one I have is controversial, not because you guys think he's a long shot, because maybe because you think he might not deserve to be on the dark horse list. And yeah, that player is Stephen Curry. This upcoming year, he's going to be the undisputed leader of this team and undisputed best player of this team and the undisputed first option of the team. Yes, you can argue he already was, but they had Kevin Durant. And people are arguing who's better, Kevin Durant, who's the first option on the Warriors, who's more clutch, who's this and that. Kevin Durant is off the team. It's Steph Curry's team, and I think the Warriors could definitely be a two or a three seed in the playoffs next year. Trust me, the Warriors aren't going anywhere. As much as I want to say the Warriors aren't going to be great anymore, the Warriors aren't going anywhere. And I think Curry could go back to that 2015 season and put up numbers like 30 points and like 7 assists. I think he could do that while the Warriors are a playoff team. And as we know, to win an MVP, your team needs to be good. Like if Devin Booker put up 43 points a game and the Suns went 10 and 71, Devin Booker is not winning MVP. It's just as simple as that. But I think Steph Curry could put up numbers next year and he'll put up better numbers than he did the last two or three years. Prediction stat line, I think he puts up like 30.5 points per game and 7 assists and a couple steals, maybe a couple rebounds. And I think the Warriors can have a 55-27 and 27 record. That meets all the restrictions to win MVP if you're asking me. Number 5, Nikola Jokic. The Denver Nuggets have the best young core in the league, or at the very least, they're in the top 3. And the prized possession of this young core is Nikola Jokic. Jokic is an NBA superstar in just his fourth NBA season and after a couple of disappointing seasons for the Nuggets, he broke out last year to take Denver to a second seed. In this season, he averaged 20 points, 10 rebounds and 7 assists per game and has already been named the greatest passing big man of all time. The crazy thing is, he's nowhere near his prime and with the supporting cast around him further developing, the Nuggets are ready to make a legitimate push next season. This is why I see him as an MVP candidate. After all these crazy moves this offseason, it seems like everyone has forgotten about the Nuggets and how much of a threat they could legitimately be. They've proved it last season by taking Portland to 7 games and winning 54 games in total. I don't think it's a fluke at all and if the Nuggets can go on to win 50 plus games again, finish as a top 3 seed in the West and Jokic improves his stats up again, there should be no reason why he can't win the award next season or at the very least be a top 3 candidate. But that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? Out of these 5 candidates, who is most likely going to win the MVP next season? Let me know in the comments below. Again, shout out to Reliable Rants for featuring on this video. Be sure to check out his channel and the video we did there. The links are in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.